It's no accident that veterans were among the first Occupy protesters who were seriously hurt. As the 1% has made their billions, more and more veterans have been left further behind. But there's more in the way than Wall Street. The continuing cost of the wars they fought in has been the biggest drag on veterans' care afterward. More than a trillion dollars a year goes to a bloated active military, while millions of veterans wait for services that too often never arrive. So there's a stark choice ahead. We can have the wars or take care of our veterans. We can't afford both. The wars don't work for the 99%. Bill Dixon for Quaker House.